We have recently announced the start of our CUE 151 study, part of our DNA repair program. This program is complex and I cannot escape talking in more specific and technical terms, but it's important to give more context to what we are trying to achieve and why and how we have initiated it and why we follow this path. Our teams, research, clinical and regulatory, start from the need to deepen our existing knowledge within the company in order to address what we call a met clinical need. That is, we develop treatments and products for those populations who have never been received attention and therapies from other pharmaceutical companies. From our program in EPP, Porphyria, we have been the first company worldwide to address patients' inability to expose to light. We came to understand the effect of light along the visible spectrum, the so-called SORED band, and the suffering these patients endured lifelong, as they literally incurred third-degree burns following short exposure to light sources. For those who have followed Clinovel for a long time, you'd know that doing something entirely novel is not without risk and puts the burden on us to be the first and novel in all aspects. But at the end, it is rewarding for patients and their families. And we continue to be driven by this goal. In 2019, we expanded our focus to a group at the highest risk of skin cancer worldwide. The group of Seroderma pigmentosum, or XP patients. XP patients suffer from a genetic disorder which dramatically impacts their susceptibility to light and sun exposure. They are known to develop multiple skin cancers each year, which may lead to a loss of body parts in the most exposed areas, such as fingers, hands, and facial structures. Clinovel has long aimed to treat these patients, but needed first to show its results and real-life experience in EPP to global decision makers. In 2020, we treated our first XPC patient without any adverse reactions, and a famelanotype treatment was well tolerated. In 2021, we started the CUE 156 trial, evaluating XPC patients with our proposed therapy. In this trial, we assess clinical data to find out whether a famelanotide decreases UV damage in patients who have a deficiency in DNA repair of damage caused by solar radiation and light. Recently, we announced the start of the CUV-151 study, running in parallel to further evaluate human volunteers with skin types 1 to 3, looking at the natural repair capacity. All in all, we are very excited not only to be offering XP patients a systemic therapy for the first time in history of medicine, but also to be the first to use a human analog of a natural hormone we all possess, but of which we do not produce enough to provide the desired therapeutic effect. Thank you.